What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with another top secret area lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about finding the area of a trapezoid by decomposing them. No formulas for us today for trapezoids, just using our secret agent brain. Let's take a look at what our key thought for this lesson is. All right. Our key thought is that secret agents use the tools they have to solve problems. All right. If you remember that everything in area comes from length times width, right? That's where it all starts, trying to cover it with an array to figure out our square units. Then we can use that along with our triangle knowledge to help us solve other different shapes. All right. So our key thought, we can use our area knowledge of triangles and rectangles to help us find the area of a trapezoid without memorizing another formula. So instead of having a uh, I do, we do, you try, we're actually going to have two we do problems together. So let's make sure we get down, get these down in our notes. So here's our trapezoid, right? It's got a top of six, a bottom of 10, and we can see the height of the trapezoid is six. So you can memorize the uh, formula for an area of a trapezoid, and that could work just fine. But if you just remember your basic knowledge, you can already use what you have memorized to help you solve this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to decompose this into triangles. So if I draw a line from this corner to this corner, and it would work if you drew it from the other corner to the other corner as well, so you don't have to remember what corner it is, you have made two different triangles. Matter of fact, let me break this up into different colors so we can see them better. Right, so here's our trapezoid, and I split it apart into this top triangle and this bottom triangle. Now, if we find the area of those two triangles and just add them back together, we now know the area of the whole trapezoid. So first of all, this part right here is very important. We know the height of each triangle is going to be six, right? So from here all the way down is going to be six. And then over here, a lot of times we draw a line, but you could kind of draw right here too if you want to there all the way down to there is also going to be six. So we know that our area formula for a triangle is one half base times height, right? One half base times height. So we know that the base of this one is six, right? We got that from right there. The height is six. So if I come down here and do some math, right? One half of six times six, that'd be 36. So one half of 36 equals 18. So this area is 18 feet squared. Okay. Now over here in the blue, we can see that the base for the blue triangle was 10. The height is still six. So if we do one half 10 times six, oh, there we go. That's gonna be one half times 60, which is going to give me an area of 30. So the area for this triangle part is 30 feet squared. So now, if we know that this is 30, and that's 18, if we bring those back together, the total area for this trapezoid is gonna be 48 feet squared. So you didn't have to memorize the formula, you were able just to decompose it into two different triangles. So because this is not a right trapezoid, right, it's just a trapezoid, we can actually decompose this another way and still come up with the same answer. We could decompose it into two triangles on either side, right? And then a, a rectangle right here, okay? So again, this is going to be six, and so we know the height of that's going to be six, and the height of that's going to be six. And then we just have to do a little bit of math, all right? If I decompose, this whole thing from here to here is 10, and from here to here is six, that would leave me with four left over that I would have to divide t equally. So we know the base of each of these triangles is going to be two, and then the height or the length of this tri uh, rectangle, sorry, is also going to be six, and I got that from right here. So I think it's a little bit easier to do the first way when we decomposed it, because we didn't have to kind of do all the extra math to figure out the triangles, but I wanted to show you this, because I know some of you guys want to do it multiple ways. And so obviously this would be 36 feet squared. Over here we have the triangle base times height. So one half my base would be two, my height would be six, I multiply that out and I get six feet squared. And this is the same triangle, so I'm gonna get six feet squared right there. If I, now, that's 36, that's six, and that's six, my total is still 48 
feet squared. So either way you do it, you're gonna come up with the same answer. I do think it's a little bit easier to split up diagonally because then you're only doing two triangles instead of three different shapes. But depending on what shape you're doing, you might have to do six triangles. Let's take a look at a second we do problem. All right, so for we do problem number two, we have a right trapezoid. So this one is actually, um, it's better if we just divide this into two triangles, right? So as long as you go from one side to the other, you could split it this way, right? And see triangle one, triangle two. But what I did is I, go, I just went ahead and split it that way, okay? So let me show you what it looks like when you split it up that way. So you see we have our first triangle here, right? And our second triangle right there. And again, we just want to, we just decompose the trapezoid into two triangles. We use our triangle area formula to figure those out. And then we just add them back together. So looking over here, we see this one has a height of 12 and a base of 16, right? It's actually a right triangle. And then this one, we had a base of 24. Now the height being 12, right? Is going to be the same height from here to here as it would be from here all the way down. You can see that, right? It's just parallel lines. So the height's gonna be 12 meters right there. So this number over here, from here to here, also gave us the height from here to here, right? You can see that kinda actually made a rectangle if you look at it like that. So we have everything we need. So here for the blue one, right? We're gonna do 1 half base times height. So 1 half 16 times 12. And when you solve that out, you get an area of 96. So our area here is gonna be 96 meters squared. For the red one, again, we're gonna have one half base times height. So we're gonna have one half and then 24 times 12. And when you solve that out, you're gonna get 144 meters squared. So if this is 96 meters squared, and that's 144 meters squared when you add that together, we get a total area of 240 meters squared. So it just makes it really easy to decompose this trapezoid and use your triangle knowledge rather than trying to memorize some abstract trapezoid formula. But now, Welcome to the challenge zone. So hopefully you went ahead and just paused it. So first of all, I'm gonna kind of break this apart into this large triangle up here. Ooh, that's not very good, there we go. And then of course we had a actual trapezoid down on the bottom one. So we know that this height is gonna be three and then the base was gonna be eight, right? You can see that from the picture that gave us all the information we needed. So if we do one half base times height here, Okay, so one half, eight times three, we're gonna get an area of 12 feet squared. So the top part is pretty easy. The bottom part is the trapezoid. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and decompose this into two separate rectangles. And again, you can see that that's gonna be eight. And then the height of this triangle is over from here to here, right? If it's the height here is six, then the height of this triangle is gonna be six, and the height of this triangle is also going to be six, okay? And then my base for this triangle would come from down here. So for this yellow highlighted part, I'm using eight and six, and when I plug that in, right, one half, eight, oops, eight times six, I'm going to get 24. So I know my first part is 24 meters squared. Then for my purple part right here, I know I have six and six, so one half, six times six, right? And that's gonna give me 18 meters squared. And these should actually all be feet squared. Sorry, I was getting that confused the last one. So if I add those two together though for my trapezoid, I'm gonna get 42 feet squared for my trapezoid. I know the triangle up top had a area of 12 feet squared. So when I add those together, the total area for my entire trapezoid is going to be 54 feet squared, okay? So hopefully you got that one right. If not, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. Just don't forget, you have your rectangle knowledge, you have your triangle knowledge. 
And now you can figure out the area of trapezoids and even pentagons, any other shape that you can decompose into rectangles and triangles and then just add them back together. Thank you so much for checking out Struck Beats. We know there's lots of different options online. We really appreciate you watching our videos. Check us out at instructedbeats.com for all our merchandise, timers, videos, anything you need for the classroom. We got it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.